Hey everyone, welcome back to this tutorial. Um, this tutorial is going to basically focus on texturing uh, inside of Substance Painter. Um, in this video, I'm going to talk about import settings and getting your model ready to paint and laying in just a, ba a base layer of color. Um, and, and then lastly, we talk about some importing uh, texture maps and things like that. So let's uh, go over to Substance Painter and get started. All right, here we are in Substance Painter. I'm just going to make a new project here and I'm going to select my low poly model. Um, all the rest of these settings you don't really have to deal with, uh, just keep them at default. Um, we can change the document resolution anytime. I usually look at work at 2048. Um, if you have a slower machine, you might want to go to a 1K, but 2K, it works uh, for me. Um, and I can always export or up res these uh, when I'm exporting. Uh, so let's hit OK. And here is my creature. So the first thing I want to do is set up um, some channels here for our objects. You can see, um, like I said in the last video, in Maya I apply different materials um, to different parts of the model. Um, and you can see them here. We have the bodies, the eyes, the top fins, and the bottom fins. Um, and you can see it's, it's uh, showing it over here in this view. Um, if you don't have this view, it's just going 2D, 3D. Um, it just switches between those. You can do 3D, 2D, or 3D, or 2D only. Um, and I'm just going to work in 3D, 2D while I'm talking about these UVs. Um, so one of the things you're going to notice, like for these top fins, I need opacity um, because it's it's single-sided geometry, right? When we flip over here, we can't see the back sides of these, so we need to address that first. Um, so on, for these two fins... I'm going to go over here to our texture set settings and then under channels I can add some other channels to these. So if I click here and go to channels you can see I can add emissive, I can add opacity, and that's what really the only two extra ones that I'm going to need uh, for this. And then we'll go to the bottom fins, I'm going to do the same thing. We'll go to opacity and emissive and you're gonna notice it didn't do anything right it's still the same so how do we how do we get around that um, well I need to change my shader so if I click this little ball up here for shader settings shader settings <laughs> say that five times fast uh, if I click on this line here and then go down you'll see I have an option for PBR metal rough with alpha blending this is what you want to use if you're using um, alpha channels for opacity. So if I click that, you'll notice that now we can see the back side of those fins. So I know that the opacity will show up correctly inside of Substance Painter, which is a great thing. Um, so next up, we're just going to uh, bake our texture maps. So under texture set setting, we're going to hit bake mesh maps. Um, this is where if you have a sculpt geometry or a high-res geometry, you would load it in here. This model is high enough that I'm not going to use that. So I can just click this Use Low Poly Mesh as High Poly Mesh. Um, make sure you do that if you're, if you're working on an object, say it's like a creature sculpt or something, and it's pretty high-res already, make sure you still bake your maps. Um, don't skip that part because you're going to get access to all this data um, which we're going to use later on. So make sure you really, really should bake your maps, no matter what. Um, so I'm going to hit Bake Selected Textures, and it's going to do its thing. And there we go. Now our maps are baked. Let's turn return here. And you can see that we have a bit of a difference, right? We've got some, some shadowing in there, some occlusion. Um, so this is exactly what we want and where we're at. So the first thing I typically do when doing a creature is I just lay in some base color, some real normal base color. Um, and I also apply some texture maps. So let's get some texture maps in here that I'm going to use. Go to File, Import Resources, Add Resources. I'm going to go to my textures here. 
and I've got some some different texture maps for the, like I got one for the eye and some skin maps so I'm going to import these I can shift click all of these and change them to texture and that's just going to help define them where they get organized inside of substance painter and I'm going to add it to my library your assets and hit import and now we have all of our texture maps terrific so to get a base color pass on here say for the body all I have to do make a fill delete this other layer and I'm going to turn off all my other channels besides color um, I also I just remembered I need to add some channels for this we need an occlusion we need an emissive an occlusion and don't need opacity um, so under my for my body material I just have color selected right so if I click a color you can see it's going to change and you can do whatever you want here um, but I don't want just a base color I want to start with a texture so I'm just going to grab a texture and then drop it where it says base color and then I'm going to get this and I can see that's a really fine map so I don't want to start with that so let's try something else there we go that's a good base color so one problem that I'm seeing already right I've got this really reflect reflective surface and the reason for that is I don't have any channels um, or any layers set up that are affecting the roughness in the metal so if I just make a normal channel here put it underneath of our color um, I'm gonna go ahead and just set these channels for metal and rough so the metallic is gonna be black and then roughness we're going to raise it all the way up to like 0.7 something like that and we'll change this later but for now it's really good to kind of work without those highlights um, so let's go back to our fill layer and let's talk a little bit about projection so one of the things you're probably going to see on your models is stuff like this so this is a uv scene um, and it may not show up in the engine or whatever you're you're working with but it's possible that you will see a UV seam so how we get around this is by changing the projection especially for a base color like this so if I go to UV projection then I change it to triplanar you're gonna notice the seam is now gone um, and we have a really nice looking base texture so if I want this to be a little bit bigger I can change the tiling or smaller so I'm gonna to go to maybe something like that that looks good and we've got a base color already set up and ready to go uh, for this guy now if I wanted to make this a little bit more complicated I can always go in and add another fill um, you're going to notice the fill layers I use them constantly um, they're really cool I, it's pretty rare that I actually paint on a model usually you can do most everything with mask um, and triplanar projection so I'm going to grab another map so I'm gonna try some skin here let's see uh, let's see what this looks like with better tiling there we go that actually looks pretty good so if I want a really kind of fine skin texture I can lay that in um, try planar it's getting a little bit re repeaty starting you can see the repeat so I'm going to lower it a little bit and then what I'm going to do is just set this to multiply and you'll see it's there and it's multiplied this is just like in Photoshop so now I can just go dut, 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 and just kind of roll that back a little bit so we've got the detail in there maybe a little bit more something like that and I can always change this to a different projection mode or, or a different over or different screen mode so let's try overlay yeah overlay works better there we go and you can see within just a couple minutes we have a decent base texture um, if this was a creature that was like a background creature we're done really for the skin anyways um, but you can spend obviously can spend as much time as you want uh, doing something like this so last but not least uh, I'm gonna show some reference let me bring up my pure ref here Come on, 
one second. So I just want to talk just a little bit about reference. So I'm going to be doing something similar to this. And obviously this is a made up creature, right? Um, but I don't want to go crazy. I'm thinking like maybe something like an avatar film type of look or something like that. So I'm going to find different elements uh, that I like. So like on this sea slug right here, I really like this fall off between that blue and white. Um, so I may use something like that on the fins. Um, I really like this pattern here where it kind of has this really fine pattern then gets bigger and then falls off to a nice pretty gradient. Um, so I'll probably use that as well. And I'll definitely be picking up some colors as well uh, to add into here. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about that because I won't use explicit reference. So I'm just kind of because this is a fantasy creature and I'm just kind of winging it. But I want some kind of frame of reference to like real life. Um, and I may use something like this, like this kind of color on the body, or maybe this kind of shading on the body, but not the color. Um, I'll kind of make that up as I go along. Um, so that's it for this video. Uh, just makes just to kind of recap what we did. Um, talked about importing, went over texture sets, how to bake maps, um, put in some base noise color, how to layer color, um, and talked a little bit about uh, bringing reference and um, making sure that you're using reference of some kind um, as you're starting to paint and importing our texture maps uh, as well. That's all for this video. I will see you in the next one.